Hey guys, this is Mary. You're watching another little piece of my art. And um, I thought I would come on today and show you just a couple things. I wanted to show you, um, I hope I'm in frame. I really can't tell because I got this new, new, um, huh, <laughs> new phone holder. And um, I got this at Five Below. And um, they're five fifty-five here in Florida. I'm not sure uh, where what they are by you guys right now, but um, this is for selfies, but also for instructional videos because of the way that it bends. And then at the bottom has like a suction, of like a sticky thing, and it sticks to your table. So, um, yeah, I thought I would pop on here and I really cannot tell where I'm at. Sorry, guys. It'll take me a while to figure out where, yeah, take me a while to figure out how to work this one. But my other one totally snapped, you know, the kind with the tripod feet at the bottom. One of the legs just said, no, no more. <laughs> and that was it. So I got this one. Um, so we'll see how that does. The other thing that I got was this crayon. I know you're probably thinking, what? A crayon? Yeah, but I got this. Let's see. I got this crayon here. And it came from the Dollar Tree, of course. It's a Jot um, Giant Multicolor Crayon. So I am going to be going home, my previous home, to visit in July. And um, I'm taking one of those cheapy flights that you can't bring um, a suitcase. So I just, whatever I can fit in my backpack. But I'll be staying at my daughter's and, you know, those I'll have everything I need there anyway. Because we all wear the same size clothes pretty much. So I'm challenging myself to, like, just be able to... Cause I'm going to be there like two weeks. So I want to bring something to do because while she does have um, art supplies, she did recently move. And so a lot of things are in storage. And um, yeah, I don't think she's going to want to dig through her storage just to get me some art supplies. So I'm trying to challenge myself to bring like one pencil case, small pencil case. Because whatever I bring, I have to carry in a backpack. So I saw this and I thought, well, this will be fun to test. We'll see what it's like. So yeah, it's the Jot Giant Multicolor Crayon. And I have no idea, you know, if this is going to be... Sometimes I don't like um, off-brand crayons at all, to be honest with you. Okay. There. Is that better? Sometimes I don't like off-brand crayons at all. I'm kind of a Crayola snob. Um, but as far as I know, the Crayola doesn't have one of these. If they do, I, I didn't know about it. So, it smells like a crayon. <laughs> so you can see we have yellow, green, like a lavender, um, blue, red, orange. So pretty much all the, all the basics there, right there. So let's give it a shot. I have a uh, Molga's magical coloring book here. Molga, my frame, yep. And I thought we would test this out on the bubbles. Now the only thing I can see would be a problem is um, when you need to sharpen. So maybe get you one of those really fat pencil sharpeners for the fat eyeliners. Other than that, I guess maybe just use a knife but let's see if we can what we can get it to do. So let's try the blue and purple over here. Um okay, so right off the bat I can tell you that it is definitely not the quality of um a Crayola crayon, but um, probably along the same lines as maybe your rose art type of crayons. I 
think you could get some values out of it if you work with it. Um, and the whole idea was not for me to bring, you know, a bunch of coloring stuff, but just bring something to add color to pages. Because um, usually I, I bring whatever journal that I'm working in whenever I travel. And so um, I just really want to look for something that I can jazz up my writing with so to speak I mean it's not going to be I don't think I'll have time to be coloring the whole pictures while I'm there because my son and daughter-in-law are um having a baby or they'll be the baby will be born my grandson will be born so I will be visiting and holding babies and doing all that kind of stuff um so yeah, it won't be for coloring as much as it'll be just for zhuzhing up my journal page. So, hmm. Let's see if I can get to the red by pressing straight down. Oh, okay. It's, um, it's a little bit of a learning curve to try to figure out, you know, where you're going with this. And also staying in the lines. Um, but I think that with the right paper, it might not be so bad. What do you guys think? Is this something that you would purchase? And how would you use it? I don't know about, um, you know, adding some chemicals to it to make it, to make it smear better. It's not, I, it's not, uh, it's just not very pigmented, I guess is the way I want to say that. But, um, you certainly get quite a bit of, <laughs> I mean, it would take forever to use this crayon. So, what do I think? Um, eh, uh, I don't know, guys. Um, I have to play with it on some, like, some textured paper to see if I could get any val better values out of it, you know, and mess around with, a little, with it a little bit more. Um, so, mostly just a novelty impulse buy. Um, but, yeah, I just thought I would show you guys and say hello and see how you all are, and I hope you are well. And um, as far as the phone stand, though, Definitely uh, recommend the phone stand at five below. So you can see here the features. Um, yeah. All right, guys. I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.